Yeah. Hey everyone, Reaper yeah. here again with Reapy. Your little Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> um, right now he wanted to be on camera. Right now I want to do a new series of highlighting some pretty cool books that came out uh, uh, certain months of the year. I chose July for this particular video because that was my birth month. So I figured I would show books that I have in my collection, not every book in my collection, that came out in the month of July. Now, disclaimer, now just because the book says July on it does not mean it actually came out in July. I know that. It most likely came out a couple months before. I'm just going by what's printed on the cover. Okay? So, shall we start, Little Reaper? Oh. I'm Little Reaper. You're a little reaper. <laughs> we'll start off with Eternals 1. Can I see the car? Where did this car come from? Uh, it's a California Street Corvette. And what this one come from? That is a Chevrolet, 1955. Like, like the other Chevrolet, and what this one? That's another Chevrolet from 1960. He loves cars. So... Uh, Eternals I number one. Chevrolets. Yeah. I, you got me a Chevrolet. Yeah, I got you a toy one. Yeah. Now, for books that um, usually that were um, bi-monthly, you know, that came out uh, every two months, like some of the ECs, if it has July in it, I included it in this video. So here we have The Haunt of Fear, number 16, the first appearance of the old witch. You like Tales from the Crypt, right, James? Yeah, and, and who are you talking to? I'm talking to the people that are watching the video. Yeah, yeah you want to say hi to everybody? Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah, you're doing good, James. <laughs> Here we have another one. House of Secrets. Sorry for the glare. We're losing the light. Uh, House of Secrets 92, the first appearance of Swamp Thing. Hey, James, look at this. There's like an advertisement. These are like planes, though. Yeah. These are what kids from the early 70s played with. Yeah. Yeah, those were their toys. See how happy that kid is? Why? I don't know why he's happy, but he seems happy. <laughs> and why is that cars? Well, there might be more cars later. Okay. Now I'm going to show you some raw books. I had to include this one. DC Comics presents number forty-seven, uh, first excuse me, first appearance of He-Man in comics. You know, I grew up watching He-Man, so I just had to include this one. Hey, doggy. Yeah. Um, they can hear you. Sure, they can hear me. But they but, can't speak to me, but they can hear me. Yeah. They they speak to me in comments. They'll leave comments. Sometimes people leave rude comments. What rude ones? Nasty ones. And what are uh, what nasty means? Uh, bad. Yeah? Yeah. Here we have another one. The first appearance of the Teen Titans. Brave and the Bold, number 54. Yeah. Next up, another one of those bi-monthly June-July crime suspense stories 17. The infamous suicide cover. See this one, James? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you might like that one. <laughs> another one of my favorite Vault of Horrors. Vault of Horror number 13. This is the second issue of Vault of Horror. Mm -hmm. And another one of my favorite Vault of Horrors. Number 37. My favorite hanging cover in, in EC. Now, now we're going to get back to some slabs. Look, James. Mm -hmm. The Tomb of Dracula number 10. The first appearance of Blade. You know, before the announcement, there were a few. Of course, there were Blade fans. But after the announcement, this book really picked up. So, um, I was glad I got this copy when I first got back into collecting again. Look, James, he's a vamp. That's Dracula, and that's Blade. He hunts vampires. What hunts What he doing to, um, 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 that? That girl? I don't know. I guess Dracula is trying to abduct her or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember. Here's another great release that came out in July. Who is that guy? That's the Green Goblin, Amazing Spider-Man 14, the first uh, appearance of the Green Goblin. Sure. Who's that? Who's that? Spider-Man. Who's that? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> the Hulk. 
Well, I guess he runs. I, 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 again, I haven't read that story in a while. I don't remember what happened. Another great release from the Spider-Man, uh, vo Spider-Man Volume One, Amazing Spider-Man Number Fifty, a classic cover, first appearance of the Kingpin, Spider-Man No More. What's Spider-Man No More? That's when Spider-Man quit. Yeah, he didn't want to help people anymore. Why? Well, he got sick of them. <laughs> I can't say I blame him. I'm all down on my car. Oh, good. Going to some raw books again. X-Men number 12, the first appearance of the Juggernaut. Great book. Another Spider-Man. Another classic. Amazing Spider-Man 122, the death of the Green Goblin. So the, the Green it? Goblin the Green Goblin showed up in a July and died in July. <laughs> Why he died in July? Yeah, just, that's just how it worked out, James. We're almost done. Another one from the Amazing Spider-Man line, Volume 1. First appearance of the Black Cat. Well, can I see the Black Cat? Where is the Black Cat? That's her. She's uh, jumping over Spider-Man. She's sort of like uh, the Catwoman. Sort of. Another big release in July, Fantastic Four, number 52. The first appearance of the Black Panther. Another one. Batman, number 59. First appearance of Deadshot. Remember I showed you Two-Face yeah. on the, card, the animated series? Deadshot's another Batman villain. What Two-Face? Well, Two-Face, he's another Batman villain. Remember? Two-Face is <laughs> There's a zombie. Yes, I knew you'd like this one. Tales from the Crypt classic cover. Tales from the Crypt number 24. Zombie. Classic zombie cover. James likes it. You like this one? I like the zombie, not the man. I just like the zombie. Yeah, me too. I like zombies. <laughs> Tell everybody how much you like zombies. I guess he likes them that much. One, two, Last three. three. Strange Tales 110, the first appearance of Doctor Strange. It was another book that... I love zombies a lot. I know you do. I like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good. Like them that much, huh? Yeah. Another one? Uh, one of the last two? Amazing Spider-Man number three. The first appearance of Dr. Octopus. Oh. Spider-Man's one of his biggest villains. And the, and the last one? Dr. Octopus. And the last one for this video, probably one of the biggest in the Marvel Universe, uh, Fantastic Four number five. First appearance of Dr. Doom. Can see? I see it? What is that? That's Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom? Yeah. Yeah, I love all these guys. Those are the Fantastic... That's the Fantastic Four. And why he got a long... That's, that's one of his powers. He can stretch. Well, that's the first video of this series. I might do September next because that was uh, James's birth month. So there's a lot of great ones for September, including X-Men number one and many others. And then I'll probably go do my wife's in June. So until next time, thank you all for watching and take care. And Little Reaper, yeah. you want to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye.